Okay, we're going to continue our final exam review for 1033 with questions 7, 8, 9, and 10. So come with me to the paper. Question number 7 gives me a formula. L measures the length of a bird's wingspan and W is the bird's weight in pounds. L is measured in feet, W is in pounds. Question number seven asks you what the length of the wingspan would be if a bird weighed nine pounds. <clears throat> well, if a bird weighs nine pounds, you're told to put nine in for W. So L is equal to the cube root of three times nine. That becomes the cube root of 27. And remember, when you're finding the cube root of 27, what number multiplied by itself three times would give you 27? And that answer would be three. So the length of the bird's wingspan would be three feet. Always remember to give your answer in units. Question number eight asks you to state the formula for the area of a circle. Area of a circle is pi r squared. Remember, area is always measured in square units. That might help you remember. And if you drew a circle, remember the area is all of the stuff on the inside. Like if you're eating a pizza, it's the cheese and the pepperoni. It's all the good stuff, OK? Question number nine asks you to find the circumference of a circle. Well, that would kind of be the crust, the outside of the pizza. And that formula is c is equal to 2 pi r. Again, r stands for radius. A really dumb joke here in number 8. College kid goes home and his family says, OK, we've spent a lot of money on you. Give us something that you've learned. And the kid says, pi r squared. And they all look at each other and shake their heads and say, oh my gosh, we've wasted our money. Everybody knows pi r round. OK, bad joke, but it might help you remember the formula. OK, and question number 10 gives me a rectangle. And of course, in a rectangle, you have two lengths and you have two widths. And question number 10 wants to know the formula for perimeter. Perimeter, by definition, means walk around the outside of the object and add together what you see. L plus L would be 2L. W plus W would be 2W. So that's where we get the formula P equals 2L plus 2W. All right. Thank you.